Welcome back everybody and today we're checking out the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. This is the module B, the 4 gigabyte RAM, the 2019 version. Well, sorry, 2018. This Raspberry Pi computer has a 64 bit quad core Cortex A72 processor. I don't know what it means. This Raspberry Pi also has a 4 gigabyte RAM and a Wi Fi adapter on board. What we see here in our screen now is the 5 volt 3 amp USB C power supply here on the left, and we have we have two micro HDMI ports and we have a jack port. And we see here on the right side of the Raspberry Pi, the two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports. And on the right, we see the gigabit ethernet port. And on the bottom of our Raspberry Pi, we can find our micro SD card slot. It will be the hard drive of your Raspberry Pi. You will put the operating system on that micro SD card. If we check on the top of the Raspberry Pi, we also see two different extension slots. We're talking about a CSI camera connector and we have a DSI display connector so think about for instance a touchscreen on top of that and here at the top of our Raspberry Pi we see the GPIO output input header as they call it this is how we connect our breadboard to the Raspberry Pi and we can play with that later welcome back everybody and today we are going to check out this Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte computer it's the 2019 version I bought the starters Starts kit. Apparently this already contains everything that we need to run the computer. I'm planning to uh, eventually use this computer as a Bitcoin node. If not the case, then I will use it to learn some Python tricks. Maybe we can do that together, try out some Python stuff. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I think we're gonna use a breadboard because tomorrow I'm gonna get an advanced expansion set with all kinds of sensors. So we might play around with that tomorrow, but first today it's, it's all about figuring out what this computer actually is. So let's start and open the box together. I already opened the box. What do we have here? Is this an HDMI cable? Wow, an ethernet cable. Important, because you don't have that at home. An SD card. Raspberry. Raspberry store. What else is in here? Heat sinks. It's gonna be the fan. And if I am correct, this is the power supply. Official USB C power supply. European Raspberry Pi. It's 15 watts. Okay. So that's the starter skip. So uh, apparently this uh, USB-C port also fits into a mobile phone. But never do that, because it is way too much amperage. I marked it. This is the computer case, the Raspberry Pi case. What's this? We have some heat sinks here as well. I have double heat sinks. I didn't expect that to happen. Here I have black heat sinks, but I also got these heat sinks, which look a little bit better and they feel colder, to be honest. I think the gray ones, the, the, the metallic ones, are better than the black ones. But it's just a guess, because these feel a little bit cooler than those, just by touch. This is the complete set, and we're gonna try and install here. So, we have a couple of heat sinks, and we're gonna start with this big one. I expect this to be the CPU. That will be the memory, the DDR. I hope the dimensions don't matter that much. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. And I still have another heatsink. Small one over here. So I guess that this small one is supposed to be placed 
over there on that small black chip. So I think now the heat sinks are in their place. Even though I do not know what this is. Not yet. Here we have the casing. I think, yes, this is definitely the top part. This would be the bottom part. I expect, as we can see here in the bottom part, there are four holes. So I expect to fit like this. So, as you guys can see, now they fit perfectly. Here is the SD slot. So we're gonna install this fan here. Okay, now it's time for me to connect the connector the right way. Red cable in the second pin and the black cable in the third pin. Let us close the raspberry now. get the anti-slippery rubbers don't touch the sticky side don't touch the sticky side don't touch the sticky side don't drop the sticky stuff so here we have a raspberry pie very small Computer. If you would, if you would start the computer now, then it wouldn't work because there is no uh, hard drive or operating system installed on it yet. It's just an empty motherboard. Let's not forget the operating system. So here is the SD card. Here. Yeah. Yeah. The power connection would be here. The HDMI cable would be here. Yep. I'm gonna check out if this is working. I wouldn't even know how to boot this. Oh, it has booted. We have some lights. Somewhere here. Okay, so this is the final product. As you can see, it is uh, it's running. We have some lights. Fan is going. Check out the other side. So right now I am putting a, a keyboard and a mouse on the, the Raspberry Pi. Keyboard and a mouse. As you can see the Raspberry Pi is working. This Raspberry Pi works just out of the shop. It was simply just assembling all the parts of the Raspberry Pi and then it was just starting it and that's it. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list. Let's do that too. So as a final conclusion I think um, it is a very interesting uh, computer that I just bought. It wasn't that expensive, it is working. I'm wondering what we can do with this. I'm wondering what we can build with it. Uh, I hope we can build a node, a Bitcoin node with it. Maybe I will eventually use it as a web server. Maybe that's the final usage of this thing. I don't know yet. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this, uh, yeah, what was it, an unboxing video? Yeah, let's call this an, un an unboxing video. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video and installation video of this uh, Raspberry Pi computer. If you did enjoy this video, let me know it by giving it a thumbs up, a like, a down wall. If you are new to my channel, it would be very awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in uh, my next adventure. Goodbye.